The summer 1.2.0 update for Nintendo Switch Sport has bought not one, but two brand new moves for volleyball. And although I spoke about them very briefly in the video that I made recently, I do want to go in a little bit more in depth and tell you the best strategies I've found for using the moves. So let's get you up to rocket speed and sliding circles around the opponents. God, that was bad. Firstly, you have the slide attack. Now this is arguably the most important of the two moves, so let's get into the specifics. You can do a slide attack after performing a bump. So you bump the ball, and then while the ball is flying to your teammate to set it, you want to hit the joystick in either direction and hold. This allows you to run around the player, and perform a spike from there using standard spike motion controls. So what's the point? Well, you know one of the most important parts of volleyball is marking your opponent and blocking their spikes correctly with good timing. That also means your opponent, if they're good, is going to be marking you and be in the right position to block you. This new slide attack creates a certain unpredictability here that allows you to increase the mind games. If your opponent has got into position and is ready to jump and mark you, then performing a slide attack is going to get you out of the way, meaning you've got a clear shot at the rest of the court. Standard spike rules like aiming obviously do apply here, and the important thing is, is that if you get around the person who's meant to be blocking you, there is so much more pressure on the other opponent who is at the back of the court, because they're not going to be able to know exactly where you're going to be shooting, so they need to be really on point to try and block you from there. It gives you a much better chance at getting a point. Of course, you've got to watch for your opponents sliding around you, but it makes the game more complex, so if your opponent looks like they're going to block that normal spike, the slide attack is definitely appropriate. If they don't look like they're properly marking you at all, a slide attack might put you in a worse position, so you need to know when to use it. Next, we've got the rocket serve. When you're performing a serve, you throw the ball up. At the top of this throw, you then hit the ball, and it will do a faster serve than normal. If the ball even drops slightly, then this will not work. So why bother with this one? Well, it's a faster serve, so it gives your opponent less time to react. It's definitely important to learn, and if you don't want to mix it in all the time, that's fine. Probably doing a 50-50 ratio of them once you can do them confidently and practice them well and you can actually do them perfectly is going to be good, much like in tennis. Sometimes it's appropriate to use one, sometimes your opponent's going to be expecting it, sometimes they're not, but more often than not, a rocket serve gives you a better chance at just getting a point straight off the bat. So those are the two new moves and the strategies that you can apply when attacking with them. They're definitely amazing additions to the game and that make this sport even more complex and even more enjoyable once you've learnt them. Thanks for your time and let me know what you're enjoying about this update and if you found any really cool strategies using the volleyball moves. Thanks as always to my wonderful patrons like Rain, I Love Waffles 1311 and Sick Hippie for the amazing support they give through Patreon. I'm Master Trainer Peter and I'll see you in the next video.